clap down. One, two, three, four. Hello, who's here? Baba Booey. Yay, Baba Booey's here. I don't want to be. Well, you can go. It's full potato mode. See you, Elite. And thus I return to the Immaterium. The Immaterium <laughs> is the one that you go into, that, i.e. it's the warp. No, no, no. Don't worry about it. If you think about the semantics, your brain will just explode. Melt. Or turn into a demon. No, you, know, you, you turn into a chaos no, 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 no. It's It's fine. Don't worry about it. Just... Ignore it, and it'll go away. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just disregard yeah. human safety. So, you guys need to plan a prison heist. But yeah. All right. So, I'm going to walk in. I'm going to request either a prison exchange, or if uh, they will allow me to hold their prisoner for a temporary case under my care. Bam. That's my plan. That's not bad. That involves considerably less murder than I was going to do. Actually, but I have a different idea. As a samurai, you can probably walk in and ask to see the prison and look. You know, take a look around and, and just check the, the safety and conditions and whatnot, and that would give us a good lay of the land there. And then, when you find the Yellow Samurai, you could request the uh, a prisoner transfer because... Does it meet uh, up with safety regulations? Pardon? Well, I, was just, I was making a joke, it doesn't meet safety precautions. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, because you, like, have... Uh, like a noble right. The prisoners mm -hmm. their minimum wage. Yeah, I mean you have a you have a um, document from a noble stating that you have been commanded to receive this person. That might be good enough. Yeah, I, honestly, I think just doing it as deadpan as possible, just walking in requesting, is a lot better than y you know. B and E, a prison. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that we can keep a sec. Well, basically, the non-samurai wing of the party. So do you go in with uh, Bill's character, whose name I forget right this second? Um, look, look, right look, look, everyone knows the prisons were made to stop people from getting. B and E in a prison should be super easy. The exit is usually a little. Bit. Oh yeah, getting into a prison isn't a problem. Yeah, what are you talking about? Getting into the prison is not the issue. Yeah, it's getting back out. As I said, B and E, B and E, the prison should be pretty easy. The exit part's the hard, the hard bit. Technically, the hard bit in this case yeah. isn't Holy isn't just the being. What? Uh, apparently you cannot hear just how hard the rain. is. No, we cannot. But you know what yeah. we can well, hear? Good thing. You'd be fucking deaf. I mean, you guys could hear the fire alarm earlier. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, that was worse for me. Make a bad dash. Oh, it's bad. Only yeah, our fire alarm is goddamn awful. It triggers on basically any smoke as long as you don't open the back door. Anyways, yeah. Um. Part of me was re is really just thinking maybe we should just do the rest of the scene with you guys at the part at the festival and just be like, hey, elite, you know, the group did this and then we had the rest of the festival for the rest of the session. Oof. That would be mean but funny because that way you guys could all have plans and do stuff without elite interrupting. But yeah, Kara, well, I like uh, your dungeon idea. I'm just gonna say it. The problem is, is there's. A non insignificant number of people here that would run into the problem of it being uh, not black and white enough. Yeah, well, I guess maybe at the end of the the session, I'll like 
uh, took out who's interested, who's not interested, and maybe do it on a different day. Yeah. Rather than uh, stopping in for a session of uh, Thursday night, Friday morning, you know? Yeah. For me, the big thing is uh, I I have plans. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, at least just well, being would, grumpy about Aronia, I feel, because it's not been black and white enough for him, except it's been very black and white, who are the good guys, etc. The problem is that Elites is, is associating good with law, and law is more associated with evil, I feel, in that regards. I 100% I I mean, agree with the idea that the most good is chaotic good, and the most evil is lawful evil. Because a chaotic evil has freedoms and other stuff, and personal inhibitions are reduced. They. I mean, it sounds like to me like you're on the edge of being an anarchist, my man. Welcome to the club. I mean, we've been over this. I am. Technically, I don't think we have, but yeah. Dude, dude. The 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 factions that I'd be if we were doing Eclipse Space, I'd be Titanian Commonwealth. Because, you know, Titanian Commonwealth or Ultimates. And yeah, neither of those are anarchists, but that's just because the Ultimates have the thing I like most, which is breeding orgy. Legitimately, uh, that's a part of their lore. And that's how we lost funding. I gotta say, you're one of the horniest guys I have on that. I am not that horny. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I have not been horny once this entire time. Shrugs. And doubts. Uh, you click X to doubt. Diplo's not horny. Uh, he's just tired. Yeah. I openly embrace things. And I'm a weirdo. But yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. The big thing is... Yeah. So you are going to go in, uh, Mr. Uh, Kenji Lopez-Alt. I mean, Jib. The name's Racky. I mean, Karga uh, Car Racky. Uh, did you want to kind of look at it, come in, though, to help with knowledge rolls in case? You're a fellow samurai. It would help enforce your things. Yeah, two samurai is, is twice as convincing. Yeah. And you also have that disposition by somebody. It's not the best disposition in case the uh, emperor themselves did it, but it's the next best thing. I, I just have to say this real quick. Well, not even say this. It's more of a question. Hey, hey Bill, what is your bluff roll? The thing is, is that lines required. It's pretty cut and dry. We've been, we well, that's been... the thing. <laughs> Diplomacy? I get like a 10. In. Bluff! I'm at a minus 2. I don't lie. <laughs> I, I have a 2. Who would edit because I'm just a trained? I'm just That's pure charisma. That's four more than me. Because <laughs> because of pure charisma. Unless it's like uh, unless the joke is, could I basically probably use like a bullshit of bureaucracy to maybe see about enhancing the um, role? <laughs> sure, you can roll bureaucracy for that. Listen, what is listen. That? I, I'm hoping that like they give us some sort of task. Like, hey, we can give you this guy if and then we do the if that's what oh, yeah, my hope is oh, yeah, Sam, what were you trying to say? Uh, he's typing give him a second yeah as I was saying you lot yeah it's up to you if you guys are going to go in you just need to find a way to get there Call it Uber. <laughs> He's hoping the sketchy boat is, is running at this point in time. I just said call it Uber. 
<laughs> I mean, it is the most European place in uh, in the land, and that boat basically was, made, was basically designed by a beach services, so possibly. The Uber's just a um, rickshaw, and it's just it's Uberman rickshaws, <laughs> just super buff. Arnold Schwarzenegger looking guys. Yeah, you guys just need to figure out a way to get onto a turtle island, uh, find a turtle island, steal the things out on the turtle island, and then make your getaway on a turtle island. Yeah, you need to steal. I mean, we've got two samurai who've been ordered to res to transfer a prisoner, which is pretty straightforward if you ask me. Yep. I think the problem right now is just trying to find them first. Yeah. yeah. Well, luckily for you lot, there's a floating, there's an island that's moving off in the distance outside of the city you guys are in. Right, Harry. Get, I mean, get the canoes. <laughs> yeah. How, how are you going to make that distance? Um, well, we're gonna go to the docks and find a boat that'll take us off deaths. Or we're gonna say, and stroke, and then we all die for stroke. Uh, yeah. So you're looking, uh, you guys can make me some diplomacy checks to find a, a, a boat man of some type that will be willing to take you out there. I have no money. <laughs> 22. I've got shit tons of money. So, uh, do you want uh, what to here? Here, your here, your here, are your qualities. Uh, uh, your first quality. Your first quality. You suck. <laughs> the second uh, quality. You, stealth, obviously. You know, can you somebody get there in quietly? I mean, stealth and speed are the things we want. We don't want uh, it to be well armed because that will yep. set off alarm bells for yep. um, stealth, size, and you know, size being, of course, not only just what type of weaponry it's got, but also uh, other qualities like. It's general you know, speed, etc., and cost. Cost, be, pick two of those, basically. Mm -hmm. You know. Cost. Uh, yes. I say cost. Okay. Cost. I, I'm assuming cost means speed. Yes. Oh, well, then speed is more important than stealth. Speed and cost. We are very clearly going about this mission to completely different regards. Well, I just thought stealth would be use could be useful. Yeah, I would actually agree. Being probably stealth capable might be, but at the same time, no. I think the idea is we don't want to get shot. But on the other hand, though, it would probably be nice to have the boat to be able to just you know hide for a bit while we're on the tour or whatnot. Listen, listen. Yeah, I, I, I think, yeah, you're right. Speed and cost are the qualities that are okay. important. Yeah, which is technically represented by size. So, rather than getting a super big boat, you get a decently sized boat that is fast. Uh, nice. It is called the Minnow. Nice. Who joined? No one. No one joined. Oh, I think Code Dog got in. But. The minnow went and did its bit. Da 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 da. So Gilligan's you guys, Isle? Is, is that what you're referencing? You guys have the you have the the minnow, the fastest ship in all the seas, my lord samurais. I guarantee. I guarantee. I do not know why I am <laughs> Kajan. Man. <laughs> hey, why not? Eh? Yes, I am the wow. Cajun, yeah. We're all going to hell. <laughs> yes, I really hate them, they're Italians, yeah. You know. I'm Definitely right here. All of the Cajun listeners. 
I have occasion oh. listener. That's the I the people that regularly view my content include a Romanian, which I don't know. They don't make any comments, but one of my regular views is a Romanian. Hey, shout out to the Romanian person. We love you, man. Yeah. Uh, keep doing. It. Yeah, and somebody in Louisiana, which I would say is is that's Cajun country. That means it's a Cajun. Wow, so we've, we've got two listeners and we just alienated one of them. I mean, I guess they could be super prejudiced against Cajuns, in which case they just love that last bit. I mean, nor they could just, they just live in Louisiana. Or they just leave us. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> to be fair, we also have somebody in like Finland or Sweden. I'd have to double check the map because it's, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, if you're listening, leave a comment. Please. Please. Why yeah. don't you yeah. comment? Why are you all just watching in silent? Because it's funnier to watch you suffer. <laughs> or hit me up on Twitter. Hit us up on Twitter at www.diploraptor.twitter. <laughs> or at, at Karakuchi Boy. Or at. Traps are gay, but that's okay. Uh, which is now going to be Felix's new handle. Sure. Uh, uh-huh. Although... Yeah, no, I'm not going to get into it. What? You don't want that as a, as a handle? Um... Doesn't necessarily represent my values. I don't necessarily think traps are gay. That's gay, oh, man. That, that's, that's gay, bro. I don't uh, know, man. Which one of us here is the bigger expert on things that are gay? Just I don't. Saying. I don't know. Uh, huh, that's a hard choice. Is it which of the bisexual men knows more about being gay? This topic has gotten weird. <laughs> Here, well, let's make it better for you, Bill. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, um, let's get on with it. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyways, you guys are you guys get on the minnow, and he pilots you out. Yes, there we go. That is your target. Crash head first, uh, and you guys pull up against uh, on the side of a dock, and the yeah. and the dock is the, the moving dock. Yeah, the dock that's moving, which is very fun. Uh, also, the dock is attached to a turtle's head. Uh, the turtle's head is about the size of a football field, for a real life example of how big it is. Which football? Oh my uh, we call it soccer here. Ah, lovely. That actually clears up a lot. <laughs> well, because, I mean, I'm aware of three discrete footballs. American, Canadian, and actual football. What's Canadian uh, football? Fuzzy rule. Did you not know that Canada's football... Is different than Americans football. Wait, there's no difference. Wait, 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 Canada has a sport that isn't hockey or curling. Yes, but the in fact code. Yes, there is in fact. Uh, so as Americans call it football, everyone else calls it. Uh, I forget, just American football, gridiron. I believe. Gridiron. We call it gridiron. Yeah, all just call it gridiron. Hmm. Uh, I like the sort of that they matching better. Yeah, and this yeah, totally makes better. sense because you're playing in grids and you're basically more or less pushing up to down the line. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, it's yeah. Gridiron, it's so far yeah. So it, it's a really big head, and that's before you start adding in all the other stuff that's been attached to it. Uh, the turtle is currently sleeping. It is an island turtle, which means that this nap is probably. Um, going to be for however long the turtle's been asleep that if it's been asleep for a while their naps can last for like a century it's a turtle he'll be here a while 
it's drifting. Slightly. He'll be here a while. Yeah. yeah. You don't know when it went to take its nap, but yeah. Mm. Turtle sounds. Uh, yeah. The guards look at the assembled group as you guys get off the boat, the two of you that are going to, the two samurai. Actually, out of character, can I roll knowledge nature to figure out how long it's been sleeping for? Uh, yes, you can roll knowledge nature to figure out how long the island turtle's been sleeping. One of these stations is going to be like, no, you can't. You're fired. Sure, Bill. Yeah. Um, well, well Bill figures out can... how to roll a nature check. No, no, just my, my keyboard's typing French right now. Hang on. Why is it typing French? Because Bill. this Canadian thing. It's a Canadian keyboard, all right? I just got to retrain on the hut. There we go. Okay, okay. What, what you mean to say is typing in French. Typing in French. Typing in French. <laughs> you got to say it like that, Bill. You got to say it like you're a character in a show. Ah, uh, yes. Typing in Paris. <laughs> no, typing in French. Sobbing typing in Spanish. In French, Canadian. Oh, yes, which is 200-year-old French. Which is the key difference between Canadian French and the rest of the world's French. Because Quebec won't update its French. Great fishing in Quebec. Once again, proving that French is an obsolete language. I see your I monster hunter over monster over girl and raise you bagel goose. What does that have to do with anything? Oh yeah, so I got a 22 of my nature check to figure out how long it's You posted been. it, therefore it has everything to do with something. Yeah, exactly. So also focus, guys, focus. Uh, yeah, so the turtle has been asleep for, as you're looking at it, uh, based on the uh, construction of the dock, the general demeanor of its head, and the fact that it's currently uh, got a uh, lack of elemental flair to it. it. Means it must have been asleep for the last uh, two decades or so, which means its nap is going to be another three to eight. So, you know, he's going to be a sweepy sweep for a while. Look at him. As you see this turtle just floating past all of you, with all of you on it. As the, as the guards, who are wearing full samurai armor, as they look at the group of you approaching. They got the face masks on and everything, as they just look at the situation. Wow, what do we have here? I don't like the looks of you. Who are you? Who are you, Lot? Why are you here? Rocky Hariso. <gasps> A Hariso. You here to turn in a bounty? Little Miss doesn't look like much of a thing. So are you going to introduce yourself, or are you just going to uh, be quiet? Hang, hang on, microphone's being fucky. Okay. I'm Akio Hano. I'm one of the Liberian uh, um, samurais. Oh, yeah. A Liberi samurai, I understand. Hmm. So you brought... Why are you all here on our island? We've come so we may request a prison transfer. I forget who hired us. Fuck. Okay. Uh, we were hired by the... the um, the Densho clan. We were hired by the head of the Densho clan to recover, I believe it was his son, right? 
Yeah, or a prisoner. Yeah, we were hired to recover a prisoner that is currently within your halls. Oh, a la dee da One of the great clans wants one of our prisoners. Ooh, I guess we're just supposed to hand them over now, aren't we? Not necessarily. I was hoping perhaps that we'd be able to play nice and play perhaps some sort of exchange oh, yeah. of sorts, perhaps. Oh yeah, what do you want to exchange for this prisoner? Do you have a name? Do we know his name? I don't remember. It's been a bit. Well, you can easily check the notes. Yep. There are there notes. Go. What were you trying to say? Hmm? No, Kara. Kara Gucci? Yeah, sorry, what? I, I didn't catch what you were saying. Oh, I was saying, um, skip this stooge and, like, ask to see the superior, the head honcho. He is who you should be negotiating with, not some random dock guard. Yeah. Ah, so the old, I want to see your manager trick. Yeah, well, I mean, that's somebody else to speak up. I'm just talking to him. If you need to uh, talk with about yeah, prison uh, transfers, right, yeah. I'll be sending you on up to the warden now. What did he say? Ooh, he became stubborn all of a sudden. Mm. I may just be a simple country town prison doll. <laughs> I may just be a simple country sheriff, but I'm here to tell you today that I don't think that you elves should have rats in my part of the woods. Crikey. Excuse me? <laughs> Did you just unironically say crikey? Yeah, uh, well, no, it's ironic. I, 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 I ironically say crikey. That's fucking funny. Thank you. That's the whole point. Yeah. Alright, yeah, I so. found his name. Haku Densho. Ah, oh, yeah. Like the spirit boy from Spirit of the Way. Gotcha. Haku Densho. Yeah. So you guys are led through this facility. Da 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 da. And after a while, you guys are led to a upper level on top of this fort that's been built on top of an island turtle. Island turtle. Turtle. The turtle is I very... I have a map for that. There's a whole city map on the back of a turtle. Sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. Okay. Boop. Link it sometime. Go do. Remind me. Okay, I'm reminding you. Go do it. If I do it now, I'll fail to pay attention. Okay. Yeah, no, he should be paying attention right now, given that two people are in this scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the two of you are bled into the warden's office. The warden is a tall man with thick, bushy eyebrows. Uh, it's going to be Abed, isn't it? Oh, why would it be Abed? Abed's a dwarf. See, he, oh, he's a... Uh, Mm -hmm. I'm getting people mixed up. Who would it be? Who were you thinking of? I don't know anymore. Where am I? Grandma, are you okay? Grandma Jim, do you need a cookie? Grandma Jim, what the fuck? I'm a man, excuse me? Did you did you just assume my gender? Uh, yes. I mean, we're going to need to get your husband in to read a notebook to you. Yeah, we brought your husband in to read a notebook. That was the best reference ever. Thank oh, you. God, that was beautiful. The best part is that no one else except me and you got it. Yeah, well, I mean... You know. They just kind of forgot. You know, it's not, you know, it's not family-friendly content if you don't say a joke that everyone's going to get. I, I mean, it was subscribers the for this cringe. Oh, wow. 
I'm so worried about losing one of my f uh, 60 subscribers. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and unsubscribe right now. <laughs> <sighs> Look what you did, Jim. <laughs> Look what you did, Jim. You cost us a viewer. Uh, actually, wait. If we get an episode uh, uh, three more times, I think. We just two, we just need 940 more subscribers. And then I can exploit the community tab loophole. I'm pretty sure they're gonna probably fix that soon. To be fair, no, nah, they've had three years to fix it. Three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, if you get four more, you can get sixty-nine. I'm up to sixty-five subscribers. No, no. Uh, yeah, if you're at sixty-five, get four more, and then you get sixty-nine. The ideal number. I think you mean the ideal number is. Six million nine thousand. Yeah, you know, six nine six the nine six nine. Yeah, I was gonna say six nine six nine six nine. Oh. Anyways, yeah, uh, yeah. the warden is a thick, bushy man, and he looks at you and goes, "I, oh, I don't know. You want to see uh, who do you want to look at again?" Uh, Haku Densho. Haku Densho. I don't think we have a Haku Den show here. My eyebrow twitches. Would you like some mochi? Oh. He offers you some mochi. Uh, you have a painting of him, by the way, that you could show. Thank you for reminding me. My memory is shot. Uh, might not go as that. How about this? And I pull out an image from the Matrix. <laughs> you you hold up the portrait you were given of Haku Densha. I do not recognize this man. I think they're all sense motive. Sure. Would you like some mochi? No, thank you. I'm good. I don't want some mochi. Thank you. Would you like some Daifuku? However, I gestured to the compatriot with me. She might want some. Do you want some Daifuku? Out of character, what is that? It's a type of cake. It's, it's a fruit filled mochi. Good damn, you're gonna make me hungry. Would you like some? He puts down a brick. Devil's lettuce. <laughs> yes, just, <please. laughs> just a full fucking brick. <laughs> I thought and, you injected the devil's lettuce. There, no, you there, smoked there's it. Like, there's no lettuce. It's just a brick. Well, guess what? He smacks it open. <laughs> he like starts snorting the chalk of the brick. No, it's ah, oh, that's the good stuff. It's a brick of hash, Jib. It's a brick of hash. Oh, I thought you put, took down like a building block brick. No, no, like it's a brick of drugs. Oh. I'm, to be fair, if you to be kind of hankering. As I say, you, you realize that he was mentioned to be a short and bushy man. Uh, that suggests to me that he could be a dwarf, and snorting bricks is definitely up there on the list of things <laughs> I'd expect dwarves to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, as he as he looks at you, his, his giant thick eyebrows twitch menacingly at you. Did the twenty seven on sense motive? <laughs> oh yeah, he he's definitely hiding something. It's almost like he's trying to give you his food so you'll shut up and stop asking questions. You want some? He shuffles around and then puts down. Well, can you give us any information on the man then? On uh, what man? Was... I'm sorry, I don't know about any man that could be here. There are no men aboard this ship. There are. Is that what you're implying? This prison facility is currently me, my men, and 52 prisoners. 
That's easy. Just look at all of them. Yeah, I was about to say, may we investigate the 52 prisoners on your vessel? Then? You may investigate my 52 prisoners aboard this island turtle. It's not a boat. It's a turtle. Yeah. Follow me. As he's going to lead you. Before we go, though, I just have to have some tea with you. I like to sense motive on that. Uh, yeah, sure. Roll sense motive on the T. On the T or him? Wait, which one? And then you could both roll me perception checks. Not that, boy. Yeah, I see he's fucking trying. God fucking damn it. He seems the most trustworthy, Akiko. Like, you could bury a man with eyebrows like that. Eyebrows are a key indicator of sexual promiscuity. Doesn't help that technically I'm not naive too. So. Twenty-six in sense mode of thirty for perception. Value, but, uh, value, value. I do kind of want to expect the T though for. Uh... Yeah, that's what the perception's for. I knew you wanted to expect the T, so I had you make the perception rolls. Make a perception, Bill, as you inspect your T. This is how the game ends with two of the city. I just got to if there's maybe like a knowledge roll I could probably roll instead. No, no. See, here's the thing, Bill. Bill, this may surprise you, but knowing what poison is and seeing the poison, so smelling the poison, are different skills. Alright. Ah, uh, wait, I rolled the wrong die. You mean the wrong bonus? What's your bonus? Should be a four, so that's technically an eight. Yeah, what's up my rolls this week? They're terrible. You know, I think I'm close to the end of the thing. I'm gonna spend a uh, point, um, hero point. Do we roll? Yeah, I got three of them. Do it. Because I do not feel like getting roofied in the uh, in the prison. Uh, oh yeah, um, he's definitely put something in the tea. Uh, yes, devil lettuce is legal. Okay. Hash is actually legal. It's it, also lethal if you hit somebody with it. it I said, le I asked if it was legal, not if it was lethal. I mean, you could also, lethal? you could also use it to lethally beat someone if you want. It is squishy, I was about to say, you realize that if I got my hands on it, it would be an absolutely lethal weapon under the Shikigami style. The so if you may, excuse me, but this is a bit of a tradition of mine that me and my other brothers have. I, uh, cycle all of the teas around. He has my tea, and I have his tea. Okay. Would you Surely somebody take has a never sip? watched... Clearly, somebody here has never watched The Princess Bride. Would you kindly take a sip? It's to ensure trust, of course. Of course! I shall take a sip! He takes the cup and chugs it. Nothing wrong at all. Now, miss, would you also have some of your tea? Uh, I'm. <laughs> what do you want me to do? me to roll to see if I, he like sleight of hand it or something. Uh, perception. He's just... Uh, he, no, he just he just chugged the tea with the poison in he, it. He just chugged the tea with the poison in it. Yes. Yes. Uh, let's see. What you do not smell is called Iocane powder. Is odorless taste uh, what do you want me to? Like I'm gonna check the one that I have <laughs> since it's his. Is, did he poison all of them the same? Uh, yeah, you can make a roll of that. Uh, make a new perception check. I'm trying to remember if I have an ability to basically. Uh, you can. I'm rolling pretty well. You can't say, but I mean, it it's definitely some odd tea, but it could be that they just grow it on the island turtles back. Which would explain the oddness. He spent the last few, few years building up a resistance to Iocane powder. Mm hmm. Uh, 
Ba ba da 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 da. Da da da. Manamana. Da 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 da. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, are we waiting on me? Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, like every kind of other time, we're waiting on you. Sorry. Kind of looks at the TiVo. Uh, sorry, this one seems a little stronger than what I'm used to. <laughs> I could be such a fucking douchebag right now. <laughs> Are you gonna drink a Kiko's tea instead for her? Uh, no, I could be douchebag and say... He drunk my tea. Why won't you drink? He drunk my tea. Why won't you drink his? Or wait, no. Who has whose? Ah, oh, fuck. I forget who has whose now. <laughs> no, me and him switched. Me and him switched. You still have yours. Yes. Well, unfortunately, I can't let you in until you've done a tea ceremony with me. So I know that you're trustworthy. And not here just to commit some sort of heinous criminal acts against the Shogun and Emperor. You know what? Fuck it. I'll do it. You're gonna drink both teas? Yeah. He sighs as she slowly drinks the tea. Oh. Okay, I, she drinks I was gonna tea. drink both of them. Okay, you both drink your teas. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Fortitude or will? Which crazy drug is this? Uh, so... Bill, make me a fortitude save. Yeah, great. My uh, weakest stat. Yay! Realization when it's like I probably should have maybe got the remove poison spell. Well, I mean, on the plus side, you're going to experience with poison. Delicious, what? delicious poison. I have bonuses against poison. Yeah. Uh... Jim, you can make me the ultimate save. Uh, you can make me a will save. Because he doesn't put... Uh, he didn't put poison in his. He put drugs. God oh, damn you it. You me yours. Nice. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking rolls today. Jesus. Yay. This definitely makes up for yesterday. Holy fuck. Yo. Jib resists the whatever was in it. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, yeah. He leads you guys out to the courtyard. Uh, and then down into the turtle shell. Everyone else, you're just kind of waiting out back, waiting for them to show up. As, you know, they're being led around. So I guess the tea has a lingering effect. Or has an onset time longer than a round. As I'm guessing, because you haven't really said the text yet, so... Yeah. Anyways, uh, as you guys are moving along, moving right along in search of good times and good feels, good friends you can't lose, it could become a habit. Uh, you guys are brought into the basement area, uh, i.e. the actual shell proper, and when you guys are brought into the actual shell, you know, you come across cells, beautiful, beautiful cells built into the stonework and the shell work. Uh, and there's an open underground courtyard. Now, uh, as I said, we don't have anyone that looks like that man in here. As you can clearly see, here's all 52 of our prisoners. I'm going to proceed to investigate by walking past all of the cells and counting. There are 52 cells. In None of them with a the man in it? I mean, there's men in it. They start uh, catcalling the mage. Let's see. Um, I wonder if maybe they might have been polymorphed. Hey, yeah, Sugar Blossom! Hey, Elfie, Elfie, Elfie! You want to make a half-elf? 
Do we I could... notice any of them that seem to be quiet? Uh, yeah. Several. Uh... Uh, like... What are you looking for besides just being quiet? Um... Out of character, what do we know personality-wise of this person? You know what? I, I have an even better idea. Mm-hmm. I'm just straight up just going to ask a lot. Has, have any of you men heard of a man called Haku Densho? He's in the secret! Oh god! I'm being stabbed! I'm being stabbed! Ah, <laughs> oh, mother. Go to uh, investigate the man being stabbed. He's being stabbed by a guard. I would proceed to stop the guard. <laughs> okay. He's stabbing him through the. I, I am just disarming him. This prisoner spoke out of line. We are simply doing our part. Yes, but he has information for our investigation. Clearly, he was lying to you, hoping for a pardon for his many, many crimes. And his file? This man's file? Yes. Oh, uh, we can have it brought up post-haste. Uh, the warden will come over and be like, yes, yes, bring it up, post-haste, post-post-haste. Uh, you lot, uh, hmm, would you like, uh, some mochi? He offers some mochi. So, what was that about a secret area, exactly? I have no idea what that prisoner's talking about. There is no secret area in this prison. He is clearly making things up. Um, just remember that if you were to go outside, you would be able to find someone who could track him by scent, which is kind of hard to hide. That is indeed fair. Now, no now I'm just saying, would you like some mochi? Wiggles eyebrows suggestively at the elf. This guy fucking rules. <laughs> he has the giant furry caterpillar unibrow going on, and I just imagine the whole thing just wiggles, I, like, unsynchronized. No, no, the, the giant Doctor Wily eye. eyebrows. So he bats when he bats them; they literally <laughs> flap. How does he fly? Simple eyebrows. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, God. He, he's trying to seduce you. Are you falling for his seduction? No. I was asking Bill. That's Bill's choice. Do they want to fall for the seduction? Hell no. <laughs> mm. Wiggles eyebrows intensely at Bill. He is really trying his damnedest here. I mean, well, while it would be a shame I, if uh, I guess we couldn't find the secret uh, tunnel that you, you know, um, apparently don't have. I guess we would probably have to uh, go after I was being so interested in this uh, person of a uh, of this uh, stature of a man. I am so fucking bluffing. This hurts. What, while I'm behind him, I give you, like, the okay symbol and, like, a gesture to do more. Go on! The worst part is, is I don't have a very good diplomacy, so, you know, or bluff. I have a character, so... Tell me more, Just tell me shit. more! I mean, those big, bushy eyebrows and the, uh... Where the hell did my phone go to? <laughs> big bushy eyebrows and those big stocky arms and all these treats you keep uh, offering. You must probably be a really good baker. Oh, I... I... <laughs> I need some dough. 
<laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Throws gold at him. Ow! Not that kind! <laughs> Some say I'm a real ladies' gentleman. Actually, does not. That'd be fine. Yeah. They say I get to the heart of a woman's desires. Is he's going to hook his arm? Very, very. You know. Uh, there's no real word to describe what is currently happening at the moment. As he's he's going to guide the elf along. As he thinks that it, whatever he was hoping the poison to do, he thinks it's working currently. Uh, real quick, uh, I'm gonna, while he's distracted, I'm gonna crouch down and like gesture for the man to come over here that's in the cage that just got stabbed. Uh, help me! Shh. They keep stabbing me! What do you mean they keep stabbing him? Oh, hi, hello, you're... Hey. Am hey. I going to die finally? No, hey, listen. Oh, no! no Why no, won't no, death no. take me? Well, give us a hand. Perhaps we can help you get out of here, right? I've been here for weeks. I I'm a bad person. I'm sorry if I'm crying. The stabbings has been painful. Why are you a bad person? Oh, you know, normal stuff, kidnapping people. You know, <coughs> murder, assassination, just if you could think of the bad thing, I've done it. Now here's the question. Next question: Did they act? Did they make you say that? No, I, I just did that. This is this is an actual prison. Fair enough. All the prisoners uh, up here secret? are the, the the they're the legitimate prisoners. The the secret prison has all the secret people. We're not supposed to talk about it because that's illegal to have a secret prison where you've kidnapped uh, political rivals and store them here. All right. Any idea where that would be? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's in the undershell. Nice. Um, Morka is going to come in after receiving the message from uh, Akiko. Akiko uh, is currently uh, being bribed with uh, cakey, i.e. cake. A soft, jiggly, yeah. wiggly cake, too. Uh so yeah, Merkel and Kage are just gonna stroll past the guards unless no. they try and stop them. No, one of those jiggly in. cheesecakes, Chip. Uh, he, he, he's uh, like, here you go, eat up, little missus. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, not, not, not too much sugar, though. I, I kind of um. It'll go right to your hips. Well, fat, and uh, I also um. Do have a bit of a uh, illness that if I have too much sugar, it will actually do havoc to my health. And oh, ah, oh, I can fix that. Let me get you something for that. Here, just slip into my sub office. Yeah, uh, Mark is coming in on Kage's back. Kage is cracking. Yep. Kiko's son. Yeah. Now, going through this facility, it is a large facility because, again, it's basically rock that's been attached to and built onto an island turtle shell and that they've turned into a facility. Uh, you guys eventually find your way through to a hidden passage, which thanks to the fact you have scent and good perception rolls. It takes you an hour or so, but you eventually find your way over. And now that you're there, the the real challenge isn't so much getting in. Uh, 
prying open the door, uh, the real, the real challenge is this. What are you going to do when you get down there? Down to, to where? Uh, we'll pass the door that you found, the secret door, into the secret level of the will, hidden... I was gonna grab uh, Akiko first. Ah, okay. uh, it's okay. I'm being distracted. She was just letting him know that basically, like, she thinks she's been poisoned with something, but sh she was wondering maybe if he might have like some kind of antidote or. Oh, I have an antidote for you all. Out of right. character. That's the. That's what she was messaging. Death. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, all right. Well, you know, fuck it. I'll I'll find the. The yellow samurai first, and then I'll collect. Yeah, everyone I'm else. probably yeah. being a distraction uh, right now. I would uh, thank the uh, definitely not going to let out man, and I'm going to uh, take his advice and head in the direction where I think that that would be. Hey, um, don't worry. You, uh, if you guys need to, you can always call in your ninja. Yeah, wherever they are. Yeah, I mean, you would have seen they would have seen Moriko go in, so they could have easily taken that cue to head in themselves. Well, um, no. All right. Yeah, no. You might have used another person for it, but I don't feel like a look. The entire gag of people running around is going to raise suspicion. So the the idea is, I'm going to draw as little attention to myself as possible. I mean, I've got the animal messenger, yeah. so I can always send a rat to you. Squeak. Um, the rats. Yeah, uh, going down the staircase. Uh, um, it, so you go. Going down the staircase in the prison, the dark carved stone hallways take a while, but eventually you make it to the end of it. And when you make it to the end, you come out into a wide open area. It's a big circular coliseum area at the center. You could probably have fights here. There's a. There's a crystal ball even set up atop to record everything that happens in that arena. And there's a group of cells all around it. Uh, dozens and dozens of cells. Most of them are currently empty, but there's a few that have people in them. Yeah, um, I, I had Kage sniff the kimono, so he's gonna beeline to Haku. Yep, and eventually, you know, after a bit, you guys are in front of a cell with a uh, yellow samurai who's currently staring at you. Uh, you just get a blinks. Oh! You're Haku not guards. Yes, Hakudensho. Lovely to meet you. Oh, you all a hand. Nice to meet you. Uh, reaches you both the there, or is it just him? Down. You're both there, because you both went down to the secret prison. Okay. Yeah, we, so we met up at some point. That. Yeah, alright, cool. Um, there are guards in here, right? No, it's the secret prison. They don't want any guards in here, because that would alert people that there's a secret prison where they're holding people. Fair mm -hmm. enough. You're going to come with me. Okay. Yeah, so we're doing a breakout? In a way. Um, think of it as a transfer. Haku! Are they breaking you out? You hear shouted from one of the other people. I would go investigate that person. Yeah. I'm there. gonna ask Haku. Yeah? Who are the rest of these guys? Uh, one or two political dissidents as rebels. Um some guy whose village wasn't paying its taxes so they um, so the orange crane clan decided to murder everyone in the village Oof. Uh, you know and then you know you know other stuff uh, oh yeah there's also a uh, there's me, there's some lady by the name of Hikari. Hmm. Uh, she's young. 
I mean, by elf standards at least. But, you know, um, over there, he motions at one of the cells, is some very interesting person, a uh, foreigner, uh, has some really interesting foreign ideas for invigorating our system. Uh, rather than having each clan mint its own coins, having a universal coin system for Aronia at large. Uh, uh, yeah. We're basically oh. just here for you. Yeah. I mean, I mean while, he, while he was describing that, uh, I would have break the lock song down of the door. You're le letting everyone out? Yeah. Everyone that's in this area, at least, out, oh, yeah. including Haku. Also, he points Haku over. Doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Yeah. There's also, you know, that guy over there. Uh, his name is Trevor. Hi. Uh, Trevor slept with the warden's daughter. Hi. <laughs> can I go? He is now released. Yeah. Yeah, he, the warden yeah. has been making us have blood fights. That's why there's less prisoners. He basically stalks up that has blood fights. Trevor, you doing okay? I still can taste the blood. Yeah, Trevor murdered some dudes when in the blood fights, but you know, you know, it was fight or die situation. So I'm not holding it against him. <laughs> he's 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 a very delicate boy. Uh, uh Haku, I'm gonna need you to get on Kage's back. I'll be fine. He stretches. Give me a second. Let me just stretch off. Uh, we have a boat on the side by the face. Uh, we have to go get our companion back that's currently distracting the ward. And... Oh, so that's why the crystal ball is turning on. The crystal ball flickers on shows that Kiko in the warden's room. As the warden is... Uh, he cravers into... Gone. He cravers his way into the room. Yeah. Yeah, he's a weirdo. Let's go. I, I'm already gone. <laughs> you, you guys have rescued a group of prisoners who are being held. Yeah, he's like, yeah. I'm going to escort the prisoners out. Yeah. Uh, Hawk is going to talk to you about, like, yeah. So it's a bunch of traditionalists work together and basically turn the older level of the prison into a secret prison for dissidents. Mm. There's yeah. no problems in Boss AC. <laughs> we... We call it, uh, you know, the twin prisons, you know. There's what's above water and what's hidden below, which is far larger. Oh, yeah, like, uh, like an iceberg. Exactly. Yeah. Talk is walking with you. more prisoners around here? Could you repeat that, uh... Are there more secret prisons around here? No, there's just the this one facility. It's just that they, when people, they basically try and extort from the families to reduce their potential power. You know, by like, oh, we found your family member, wait till there's very high bounties up in finding the family member, and then they call them up, and if it doesn't happen after a certain point, you know, fights to the death. Uh, what kind of like building materials are down here? It's made from some odd, smooth black stone. It you have a sneaking suspicion that it's made from some sort of uh, material that you'd find like at the ocean floor that's been smoothed and shaped and then pressed to the island turtle's shell, probably with some sort of magic to keep it attached. And then there's probably parts of this that are actually island turtle shell that they basically uh, drill tunnels into. Shame. I was gonna set it on fire, but it went burn. Yeah, it, it, it's rock. Yeah, you're dealing with a rock. Mm. Mm. Uh, gonna head up. Kill any god that tries to stop us. <laughs> oh no, not the murder. Ah uh, dear. Okay, so, how's my situation? <laughs> uh. Jib, if you spend a hero point, you can get there before anything else further happens on the crystal ball screen. You can rush there quickly as possible. Yeah. 
I mean, going, going, going. Yeah. So as he cravers into the room, well, like Kramer, it, Jim's character, uh, our uh, Rocky, bursts in with all his might, like, boosh, as he cravers in, as you're like, man, I feel really, really, really fuzzy. Uh, and you're like, is he going to, and he's like, now I'm going to kidnap you and figure out what you want, and why you want this den show boy. And then I'll see if there's a bounty on you, as he announces his evil plans very openly. And then, uh, are you good at fighting? <laughs> he he asks he asks you, Bill. <laughs> he. Guy looks up and uh, would um, reply. Have you ever had, you ever know the feeling or the seen the effect of a uh, frog getting um, gorged alive by a fireball? <laughs> Man, I you sound you just like that. my first wife. Out of character, what did I name my sword again? Oh my god. Are you calling your sword to try and murder him? I, I don't know. Um... Has Jib gone into this room at this point yet? Uh, yeah, Jib's burst into the room. Jib, you burst into the room. He's currently, uh, he announced his evil plan hasn't noticed you, and he's been very, very unsuccessfully. Uh, you're not certain if that was flirting earlier, or that was just a weird creepiness of this very strange man. Uh, what's the uh, penalty for attacking without lethal? You can either not crit or take a negative four penalty. To hit or to damage? To hit. Just don't do shield to swings. Yeah, don't do shield to swings. And all the other shit. I'm just saying, just don't shield to shield swings. You don't need to constantly shield the swings. I know. I like it because it gives me a plus four, but, uh,. No, uh, I'm just gonna, right. I'm just gonna fucking attack. <laughs> I mean, I got scorching or not scorching rain, but I have. Uh... Give me a second. It's the uh, non-lethal variation of that. I like how you guys have a ninja, but then decided explicitly, we're not gonna use our ninja. I mean, they didn't, I mean, didn't want to leave the boat. Yeah. I have a monitoring rat I could probably use. <laughs> Uh, should I go all in on this? He doesn't seem like that he has any decks, and he doesn't look like he has any armor at all, right? Uh, no, he's wearing, like, a breastplate. Mm. I still kind of want to try it. Do ah, it. it. I'll do it. Do yeah, it. I'll do it. Stance of Aggression for Arius Primal Wrath. That's, uh, minus... So minus ten total to the die roll, and I'm gonna power attack. But thankfully, the first strike is negated. But it's fierce primal wrath, so you know only one attack. Uh, I, I'm doing this because it already has all the shit calculated for it. Uh, just note that I'm not doing the uh, shield of swing side of it. Yeah, I know, you. Hear me. Hi, bye, code. Does a 20 hit him? Yes, that hits. He's currently flat-footed. Because he's currently gloating about how he's going to kidnap some samurais and then extort your families. Especially because that means you guys are looking for the Den Show, which means that he's got to be worth a lot of people are looking for him. Uh, 65 total damage. Ah! I am in fear. Oh, God, for donk. Uh, I mean, if you kill this guy, a bunch of noble families will probably be like, oh, great job. Hell yeah. Unfortunately, I'm doing it non-lethally. He is unconscious, mm. as you did cool. exactly his HP. Uh, you, that's perfect. Uh, I'm going to say, you want to cuff him? Uh, you want some mochi? Actually, he may have cuffs on him. 
Oh yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna check and see if he has any cuffs on him. Uh, no, he's got um, a nice pillow, also known as stockades. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna leave those on the floor. Just, I'll just cuff them. I have cuffs on them. They are basically cuffs. It's just that they are cuffs. They just they're, you know. It would actually make it more harder for him to basically do anything, though, too, if they're in the stockade. I think it's a portable stockade, right? Yeah, it's the ones that just go around your wrist. Yeah, no, I have... Fuck around my cuffs. Are you guys Are you guys going to kidnap the warden? Are you kidnapping the kidnapper? Yeah. I'm going to turn him in. No, okay. Uh... Oh my god, if you make Haku his warden, that's gonna be pretty great. <laughs> what, what do you think I'm doing? Fully indoors. Uh, yeah, I. <laughs> Listen, Haku's the warden, we're bringing them all back. Oof. Whoop whoop. Alright, so then we gotta get uh, out of here. Yeah, so... we're just gonna go back. Yeah. Uh. I might have a suggestion, um, because I think, I think, um, it might, I think probably there might be some guards waiting outside the door that will probably make this a little more hard to engage. Boss, where are you? I have a spell I could use, I make you, uh, descend, uh, slowly through the window. Okay, do it. Unfortunately, I can only put this on one person, so... What is the spell you're going to cast? Feather Out of fall. character? I, I have Feather Fall. Oh, have you have feather, feather Fall? Falling. I have Boots of Feather Falling. Also, oh. Feather Fall can be used on multiple people. I only have one charge of it. Oh, you have it on a wand. Okay. No, I, have I, it on no, I mean not a wand. I have it as my spell per day. Yeah, you. based on the spell level, it can be cast on multiple people. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, so if you cast it on him, it is on everyone, and we can all go out the window and just walk along the side of the turtle. I think it's just the two of us in that room, or the three of us, I think, in that room. Yes. You should be, as a level 8 caster, you should be able to cast it on all of us. Okay. So just cast it, we can go out the window and uh, reconvene on the boat. Yeah, which I think basically the ninja has the boat, so we'll be able to, you know, I guess maybe make her descent down on the boat. Yeah. Well, I mean, they wouldn't know. We would have to walk along the side of the turtle. I, I could probably we're send. Going. I think I could send a message. Probably say it's like, "Hey, rendezvous here. We're coming out of window." <laughs> I mean, it's still Featherfall. We're descending yeah, slowly, and we can just sort of climb along the side of the turtle. Either way, we're, we're, we're yeah. doing this now. We're not, has, you know, well, the guy, we're going now. Yep. Featherfall, you can have to wait down. Yeah, Featherfall, everybody, we're walking out the window and hanging on and, you know, maneuvering along the side of the turtle to get to the boat of ours, the minnow. As the DM is writing a bunch of notes. More or less, it's like, oh, here's all the uh, AA defenses. Yeah. Open Why up the AA defenses. defenses. They just pull it's out a, a bunch of ballistic ballistas. Chowder, pass me the MG42. Uh, it just opens fire. I was just gonna say it's gonna probably be like crossbows or something. Uh, uh, so, uh, you guys can make me stealth checks to see how that goes for you, uh, Ninja. Uh, you can see them sneaking their way down. You want to do anything to help your teammates uh, make their escape uh, with stealth in mind, Miss Ninja Code? Oh, you there? Uh, you, the your teammates can both make stealth checks. God, my rolls have been so good today. And that's so that's what's happening. I dropped out for a second there. They're so, sneaking out um, the sides. I'm back, and I have to go. What? Uh -huh. There's a medical emergency in my so I'm out. Alright, bye. Good luck. Okay, so, uh. That might have put a wrench in the plan. Well. I mean, he could just DM the PC a little bit to help us. 
Let's see. Stealth. Oh yeah, the one skill I'm not trained in. I rolled an 18. What the fuck are my rolls? Hang We're on. literally so good today. Uh, I got two more hero points, and from what I was told, this is probably going to be the last session, so... Why would this be the last session? Of this side thing, is what he's saying. I'm going to try to give another attempt at it. I really well, like playing as Rocky. Well, that's plus 10, so uh, 15, I guess. Uh, a good character. Yeah, so you all... Uh, so, guys, here's the question. Do you abandon Akiko as she gets spotted? Uh, go ahead. It's okay. I, I, I mean, they said go ahead, so we're going. Akiko! Akiko! You, uh, as everyone else falls down stealthily, you are noticed. As the group rushes towards the boat, uh, you realize that because of your uh, distance, because you had to break up the fall so people wouldn't just be one giant group from the top of this tower, from this big old tower on the top of this thing, because it's a fort. It's a full-on fortress built on a turtle's back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you have I a... probably caught by one of the spotlights. Oh, more or less. Uh, more one like the Brazilians. But yeah. What are you going to do, Akiko? Are you going to fight, fly, or sink? How much further is the water? Uh, pretty far. You, you have to run the distance. Hence well, the, the point, you know, since they're since you're using feather falls and stuff to get around while the other while the other people are sneaking around with Morico, uh, you're on a very strict. There's a the rest of the group is at the boat basically. It's a probably a minute or two for you to get to the boat, and they're already undocking it to prep to get ready. Uh, only problem though, would that probably bring heat on them though if I were to try to uh, get on that boat? Oh, I mean, it's a fast boat, so you probably don't have to worry about it. That's what I'm well, I got acrobats trade if that helps with anything. I might see about getting a shield spell up that maybe make me harder to hit. You can always, moment, yeah. I'm gonna go use the restroom. Sorry. Yeah. Um, as it is as Carmel or... dancing. Oh wait, I have the blur spell. I think that might help me. Blur means that you have a 20% mischance to your enemies. Woohoo! I might see if I'll try... Um, how many spells can I get up before they start firing? Uh, they're going to be firing uh, right after your first spell. So which spell do you want to put up? Uh, they're going well, to they're going to launch their katana launchers at you. I think the first one up I want to uh, put up then is the shield spell. Okay. Uh, so you're putting up shield. They will fire the. They will fire their their chosen weapon, which is uh, some sort of magic cannon. It fires off a magic energy in the shape of a katana at you. Uh huh. Um. Okay. That's gonna hit. I'm dead. No, you're not. Anything that hits me pretty much kills me. We've been over this. Oh, actually, holy shit. <laughs> and the first magic cannon! As a magical energy beam katana slaps you. As they're redirecting their other weapons to aim at you. As the crossbowmen set up. Uh, round two, Bill. You have, uh, you have a few more rounds to get as you're running. Uh, what are you putting I up next? Have any. Actually, how far is there? Um, actually, no, I think it's probably out of range of a fireball. No, it's in range. Is the cannon? Yeah, or the crossbowman? Like, what do you want out of the fireball? What is firing next? Uh, both will be firing next. Do you want to? Do you want to blow up? Do you do you want to blow up the cannon with a full force uh, blast, or do you want to, uh, you know, t potentially take out all the crossbowers, or do you want to put a blur? I think blur next. Okay, blur next. As I keep running. Yeah. Aim the magic cannon. 
may have been too also anything else, sir. Yeah, you're running. You're I running know. away. You're running bravely away, Sir Robin. Mm-hmm. As you keep <laughs> running, Akiko, as the magic can be turned to aim on you, as it takes a round to charge. Wah, 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 wah. As you can see, as they slot another katana into the back. As the crossbowmen... The fucking... It's a fucking kid that shoots swords. It, it makes... That style works, fair enough. It, it technically it takes magical energy ambient in the area, charges it up, and uses a katana to make a blade shot. Then you have to take the katana out because the katanas get basically red hot after that. So you need to let them cool off. But it's reusable because it's magic. The crossbowmen all are going to fire their repeated crossbows. Oh, uh, here's hoping. Um, all five of them, so that's ten shots. Ba -ba 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 -ba! He's hoping Get her. helps. Okay. What is your AC? I think one, two, three, four, five attacks potentially hit. Does the last one crit? Yeah, well, let's see. Uh. uh do any of them have a, uh, did you roll the, uh, percentile out die? I'm about to. First hit. Hits. Second hit. Hits. Doubles yeah. and doubles. If you oh. roll a 22, I'm gonna scream. Third hit. Hits. Okay, we're good. We're not Fourth summoning hit. demons. Fourth hit. Hits. Fifth hit. Hits. Okay, so this spell's worthless. No, it, it's good. Blur is really good. It's just 20%. Yeah. The big thing it's is uh, one in five. Yeah, uh, you effectively, yeah, it adds another twenty-five percent chance of failure, mm -hmm. which is really good. Yeah. But either way, whatever damage probably come is actually probably going to kill me this round. No, it's not. What's your HP at? Let's see, twelve. From uh, I'm at twenty-three right now. Okay, so twenty-three is your total to that. HP. That's how much I have. Uh, 35 is my actual total. Yeah. So, so oh. there you go. Da -da 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 -da. Well, I'm. Oh, wait, that's one. So, I think there's. Is that all of them or no? That's all of them. Okay, so I'm at one HP. Yeah. And, yeah, that that's your current situation. You're currently in pain because you're. You got. You have five crossbow bolts in you. Mm -hmm. Owie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so is it my turn now? Uh, yeah, it is your turn. You, you're, this was the second round. Uh, what are you going to do next? Hey, I think I pretty much put all the spells I could put on to help me... Uh, yeah, you, you, just got, you just got a bunch of crossbows in you. You got a giant katana slash across your back. Oh, I have stone skin. Oh, wait, I had stone skin. Fine. <laughs> Cast Toad Skin. Cast Toad Skin. It's going to be the best thing ever because they're, they're just not going to expect it at this point. Well, I'm sure I remember. It just it like adds DR and what else was it? It gives you 10 DR against ranged attacks. Uh, it only gives you enough DR to block a damage equal to your caster level times 10. Meaning you'll have 80 basically additional HP against all their attacks. Wait, so I would actually temporarily have 80 or 80 temp HP? But only oh, against, against ranged. 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 Against range. Yeah. Well, they're using range, so, uh. You Stone know? skin? Yeah, why yeah. not? YOLO. Fuck. Yeah. They. Okay, so first up, uh, the crossbow guy, since they're. Uh, you're all watching his. His crossbows rain down at your wizard. Uh, more crossbows! So here we go. So first up, uh, oh, fuck my life. Does not confirm. One, two, three, four, five, six hits. Basically, my AC is uh, eighteen when uh, with the shield up. So yeah. Yeah. Well, here we go in order. Uh, that's a, that's one of those is turned into a miss. I actually rolled too many. So yeah. So that means it's five hits, and then. Let's just roll your uh, 5d8 of damage that your that your armor soaks. 25. 
as five as five more crossbow bolts penetrate you, but don't actually hurt you because your skin is stone. And the cannon aims and fires. Boom! Ow. Uh, so it's going to be the cannon that kills me. No, because again, it still applies your DR. Is there but, any range increments yet to worry about, or no? I mean, you're at range increments. That's helping you. That's mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so your DR is currently taking 47 damage, and then you guys, uh, yeah, yeah, you can. Are you gonna fireball this turn, or are you just gonna continue running all out, to just trying to get away? Oh, I could just double. I think it's like the boat's like two t uh, moves away, right? Just right, that's what I'm saying. Are you gonna fireball at the crossbow guys, or are you going to just jump in the boat, basically? Okay, so either way, I'll be in the boat this turn. Yes. Uh, maybe just firebolt that cannon because it might probably be able to keep up with us at range. So just like basically that one fu as I basically more or less run into the boat and then basically just cast the uh, fireball to give me that projection. <laughs> Fire all the katanas at once! Fire a spread shot of katanas! So do I just roll the damage for fireball? How does this work again? Yeah, you roll damage for fireball. Okay, I think mine is just uh, 8d6. Yes, that's how that works. I don't play mage a lot. <laughs> we know. So you do 30 damage, which everybody there is going to have to make a save against. Uh, luckily, it's not a gunpowder cannon. What so uh, they're, they both fail it, so they're going to take a full 30. The cannon saves, and since the cannon has a hardness of enough... The cannon takes no damage, but its two operators are currently KO'd. Possibly dead. Because 30 damage is a lot. Yeah. They're only level 2s. They they have at most 20 plus their combo twice. You know... Uh, that guy was pulling on the boat, just uh, yeah. yeah. And then the, and the elf flops onto the boat as the crossbow guys fire into her, uh, one last time. Oh God, no! Uh, one, two, three, well, four that hits. Definitely hits. Nope, he doesn't. Uh, four hits. Uh, oh hey, and three of those are then sucked up by your blur. Yay, Blair. So, so you take, uh, well, your armor, your DR takes three more. So in total, <laughs> your DR soap for you, uh, fifty out of eighty, as you as you stumble and fall <laughs> onto the thing, exhausted, beaten. But you guys, you basically soaked up arrows because they're like clearly the mage did something to the captain. As you guys are pulling out of the dock. And uh, they're having to readjust. They can't do anything because they need to take a few rounds to get people up there to rearm the cannons. And you guys sail into the distance. Keanu's just going to lay at the boat just say, this is not what I thought they had in mind when they were going to penetrate me. Better than the alternative. I offer my hand to help you up. <laughs> Do any of you guys have a, like a healing potion? Not Everything in the slightest. Hurts. You forget, none of us are healers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you just lie there at one HP. Where did that poison start affecting? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah. That that speaking of which, that that's happening. Uh, uh, so the poison uh, is a poison that just does. Uh, it's a it's a it's a nasty little thing. It's not super. Is it like con or it. Uh, so the poison is basically supposed to generally debuff anybody. It's a Fuck you, poison. Uh, mm -hmm. It does a D3 to each ability score. Oof. Okay. So strength, three. <laughs> Dex, two. <laughs> con, one. So you're fine on con right now. Int, two. Wiz, three. Charisma, three. Oof. I'm glad I passed the drug save. Oh, the drug is something different. Uh, the drug is just the drugs he takes. He just does drugs. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Enough. You guys don't it would have if, since you passed it though. You didn't take the four wisdom damage that he's basically constantly on. Nice. That explains so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's constantly okay. suffering four wisdom damage. So yeah, Bill. Currently, your strength is your strength is nine. Your dex is tw uh, fourteen. Your con is six. Your int is sixteen. Your wisdom and charisma are both eleven. Uh, and you can make another save now because it's been it, the first rage increments come up. Wage increments. Basically, you can make another fourth save to see if you start passing the poison. Ah, oh, boy. Uh, yeah, so that's, it's not the arrows that's going to kill me. It's going to be the poison. Hey, you made the save. You actually made the save. I, I, I think I might need some... Um... <laughs> oh, yeah, she's been poisoned. Yeah. Trevor, some... can you fix her up? I guess. Please come over here, Miss. I will make you vomit up the poison. Okay, that's probably better than nothing. We well, may, we... I, mean, I guess that probably be using leeches. No, no, no. Then we're gonna install leeches inside your stomach to clean it out that way. Well, I'm guessing you're a licensed doctor, right? I am one of the best doctors. Yes. I trained this lovely ninja by the name of Haruka. Oh, really? You don't say. <laughs> I failed the save to give you a boost to your fortitude save. Make your next fortitude save. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 He'll uh, make uh, his... Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, make your next fortitude save, Bill. Let's just see how this is going. Hey, hey look, in that 20. Yeah, hey. okay, now let me just roll the ability damage first before we get to that. <laughs> so your strength is going to take another 2. So your strength is now 7. 7. Your dex oh. is 13. Your con is... Jeez. Jesus, your con is currently at 3. I'm at 1 HP right now. I think I just went uh, in capped. You, you're you at negative 1, and you're literally 1 away from dying. Uh, your, I, I, your intelligence is currently a whopping 13. And your wisdom is 10, and your charisma is 9. That is your current situation, Bill. You are you are super out of it. It's just a general nasty poison. DC only a fifteen, which for level eights is normally not a big issue, but when somebody tanks their fortitude, it suddenly becomes. But yeah, uh, yeah. You then after the next another minute or so later, you pass the second check through some vomiting and stuff, and you cough up the rest of the poison. And there you go. The, you're, you're all sailing away. The guy that is currently, you bought the, or borrowing the sailboat from, is like, well, this is uh, an interesting predicament. Um, so, what are you guys going to do when you get to port? Uh, were you going to take us to port in uh, Wano Hikari? Yeah, Wano Hikari? Oh, way over in Wano? That's going to be a bit, but yeah, sure we can do that. Sounds good. Uh, that's where we started, right? That's where yeah. we got the mission? Yep. So yeah. from Azumaira, yeah. nice. um, what will be a pretty full week, um, so, almost a month of journeying together, you guys get to spend a week sailing back from Azamaro to back to Hikari. Uh, at which point you guys will get your payments. Your fat, fat stacks of gold. <laughs> uh, you're each paid out a whopping 5,000. I think pretty much all that. territory instead? <laughs> Uh, yes, you get paid in 
the most delicious thing, a plot of land. I put that with yep. the rest of my uh, money in the in a bank and just put it in invest. You know, in uh, put it in stocks. No, I'm no, not in <laughs> stocks. Uh, invest. Yeah. Jim so is short selling the system. No, what's I'm a, the I'm fucking term? This part here. Bit of mountain, bit of forest. Yep. <laughs> And suffice to say, your characters are going to have a rather lovely time because you've successfully uh, avoided the problems. Uh, let's and all we hope. turned in the uh, uh, corrupt warden too. Yep. Uh, now, obviously, the the warden's going to end up dead, uh, probably from the uh, lords that he was. Who were sending him dissidents and stuff? Uh, they, 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 there's not a lot you guys can do about that. Just to be blunt, I, think, eh, I, I felt like turning him in either way was the better. Was the no, better I mean move. turning him in is the, definitely the better thing. It's just that people are going to murder him for the sake of covering up their illicit affairs. Mm-hmm. He deserves no less. And thus, this warden dies. And thus, you guys are now uh, heroes of the Hikari. Rivals to the Jin Mine. And your characters will get to live on in infamy. Mm. Now, if you want to use Morico in the future, he's going to continue doing stuff. Yep. Just uh, so you know. I, I figured the key is going to be able to recover from the poison. <laughs> well, it's going to take her several days. Is it uh, sad okay. that I want to keep playing? As I, I love key. Kazi as a character. I mm. like Rocky's playstyle so much more. He feels actually functional <laughs> than whatever well, fucking that... hodgepodge mess I'm trying to do with Kazi. Yeah, the thing I love about Rocky is that there isn't underlying everything, the burning uh, thing that we're going to have to kill him at some point. He's going to overstep, and we're going to have to kill him, and that's going to suck. Whereas Rocky, it's just like, yeah, he's cool. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'll be fair, I like well, Rocky both. tries to play on the good side all the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyways, yeah, sadly, we didn't have a lead, which was sad, because then we could have actually had a nice big old fight on the turtle. Jim, find the map. Uh, send that, because that'll be useful for future stuff. Uh... I'm going to be honest, yeah, I figured that you guys would try and do the social route, though it's sad that Code didn't get to do anything, and I hope whatever is happening to Code and whatnot it gets resolved and nothing bad, mm. super bad happens, because, you know, you hate to hear bad things happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, would, it, would medical emergency in America don't really go together very well? Right. Oh dear, though. I, I kind of feel stupid that I forgot to, like, oh yeah, I have stone skin. <laughs> mm. uh, so much oof. To be fair, it would have... It would have just helped a bit. I don't know, like, was that probably a good order to basically start with the shield, then the blur, then stone skin? <laughs> Kazi literally lives or dies with with AC. He is so fragile that I need any AC buffs I can get on him. That's why I use um, Shield of Swings on him as well. He doesn't fucking die. Yeah, Shield of Swings is good for adding AC bonuses. I don't know if that's actually Shield, does it? Uh, it does, because Shield oh, of Swings yeah. is just an AC bonus of four, but you still can attack. It's so there's an action yeah, called full round damage. defense where you just take your weapon and defend with it. Use it as pure blocking, gives you a plus mm -hmm. for an AC. Shield of Swings allows you to, if you're power attacking, to attack and defend. Oh shit, so I could have probably done an action, do a defensive action, I guess, while moving? No? Defense in a, defensive action is your entire turn. Okay. I thought there was like a partial one for just using a standard, though I might be thinking of Saga Edition because I remember. Uh, that. I think you need a feat for that one. I know that that one has some crazy negatives too, but I think yeah. you need a feat for it. I mean, as I said, the idea though is like, 
I don't know. I was kind of more or less, I guess, experimenting with the you know, just it's like I'm thinking, it's like, hey, this one arcane school allows me to basically throw um, items at people. Why don't I just throw my sword around? Yep. Uh, honestly, yeah, I basically just wanted to do a side thing, which would reveal some things that you guys probably aren't going to learn in the main game with, for a while or a bit. Also, I just love the way that leads like, man, I'm, I'm just so grumpy because it's like. I just, it's like, yeah, it's a long game, Elite, because that's the point. It's supposed to be a, it's a story, and you and you guys are playing the parts. And Elite's like, I just, I want to say my speech, and then I want to just immediately have people like it. I'm like, y you need, your, 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 your speech is going against what everybody's been taught. Uh... You need to have there be something like a renaissance, etc. You need there to be a merchant middle class to form before people start really thinking. Maybe we should have equal rights. Because, you know, that's a underlying theme is that in a lot of historical cultures, you know, not, uh, you know, everyone firmly believed that the divine status, etc., really had some weight to it. Um, or, if you want to... If I can ask, would you allow me to rebuild Kazi? I still want to go full in on magic, but I want to see if I can still get full magic and build a better melee character out of him. Because I, I like magic, but I really want him to flourish as a melee character. And I think that with some of the classes from this, I... <laughs> Especially the some of the prestige classes, I think that can help him, at least a little bit. We can work on that, yeah, Jim. Um, yeah. Yeah. I we can talk about it after this, of course. Yeah. I also need that map, obviously. Um, I I know I have it in waiting. I just want you to let me know when. I still it. have no idea how to get Haruko out of the uh, situation she's in, though. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Um, are, is Haruka entitled to a proper trial? Uh, because. I mean, we have at least we have one samurai and one um, noble heir who would be willing to vouch that uh, she was attacked unprovoked by the siege breaker, and that's going to be worth something. I mean, she's a peasant, you know, murdering a peasant. Yeah, no. Unless Ooh. somehow we're able to more or less convince that I guess I might be a. Uh agent of a uh, higher power? I don't know. Are you an agent of Jeebus? See, if we still had code around, I would have actually done a... I would have continued with the main stuff. I would have just slid over to that. I mean, like, now then, we go to this, and then I could have been like, Azumi is too busy uh, shouting at her brother about stuff. But I kind of want uh, code here, and I hope whatever it is that's having a code here, Works out. I'm worried, and yeah. That's you said that this is how many years in the past? Five. Five years. Five. Five. Rocky will be twenty-five by the time the game comes. Uh, by the time, you know. Mm. He'll be an old man. Yeah, an old man of More twenty-five, and yet you. I'm still older than him. I'm gonna fucking cry. You're an old man, Jim. I did not put in Akina's age. Oops. Yeah, I literally decided earlier this session that Mariko was, like, mid-twenties, because I didn't put it in an age. Yeah, I realized I kind of forgot to do that, too. You're an and elf. I... Uh -huh. mm. They live like parrots. They live very long. Do you want me to update Rocky's sheet to be to a higher level? I don't know. I think I probably might use Akina, though, I think, if Aruka ends up uh, more or less being executed or dying. Yeah. I would love to play as Rocky if Kasi died. Although, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's It just felt nice to play something completely different. Hmm. Though I think probably at this point, though, she's probably just going to end up uh, more or less uh, probably going back to her books until it's like someone else either calls on her or... Uh... Well, 
we did free uh, Haruka's sister, I believe. I think it sounds our brother. I think it was. Yeah, someone. Uh, See, I wanted to dig into that. I wanted to be dig into that character, but I'm like, Morika doesn't know who, who that is, and honestly, doesn't. Give I know, a fuck. right? <laughs> it, it's unfortunately kind of that situation. Like, I would like to learn more about them, but my character doesn't uh... know or care, and that's what makes it better because. Now, now, now you out of character now, but more importantly, you're feeling the most important part is Elite's character's sister was there. Yeah, yeah. And now they're somewhere on the run because. <laughs> and the Elite's brother has the sword. Mm hmm. Which gives you a timeline of things. Do you like turtles? I do love, like, that's how that's how he knew that we would find Haku there, is because he'd been there and sent his sister there. Son of a bitch. I'm glad you... you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I... 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 I took what Elite said and made him a villain who was very open about the fact that he's a villain. And just embraces it. You gotta, you gotta smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Mm. Although personally, he, his alignment strikes me as true neutral. His only interests are his own. He doesn't care about good or bad, or you know, law or chaos. I mean, to be fair, that is technically possible, but it is also very possible. If it's selfish motivations for those personal goals that can make you neutral evil. I forget what Elite yeah. actually said he was, but like that was when Elite's character last talked to them, which is also right after the whole dad decided to murder his lord thing. And mm -hmm. you know, he was raised by a lawful evil guy, so What's his alignment gonna be? It's gonna be this. Uh, he's gonna. He had a lawful good dad, a lawful evil uh, parental figure, and more. And he thinks both are complete fuck ups. So, what's his alignment? Neutral. Chaotic neutral. <laughs> Hashtag. Hmm? Yeah. What is that? Hashtag neutral, baby. Let's go have sex with some women. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, I just I just wanted the the warden to be a creeper, but he's yeah he's not like he's basically like I can make money off you because he's constantly thinking about how he can make more and more money off the situation, and he's using his position to you know trap people like Trevor, who had. You slept with his daughter, and he's like, I don't like you, Trevor, so I'm going to put you in jail. I didn't do anything wrong. You see, in, until you said Trevor was Haruka's teacher, I, I assumed he was the leech kebab guy. I All I have to say... Maybe it's both, and Haruka imagine, just doesn't recognize him. I imagine <laughs> the warden as like a... You know Morshu from the fucking Zelda CDI cutscenes? Yes. Come back when you're a little. Mm, right. I don't. I visually identify him as that, but with bigger and bushy eyebrows, and I don't understand it. I mean, that's that's also definitely where I was going with him. He's supposed to be a. He's basically everything wrong with the system is that he's he was a really good warrior because it turns out being shorter than everyone else, stocky and durable, because of dwarven heritage and stuff, turns you into a really good warrior. Especially when you're willing to utilize poisons. Especially a poison that, sure, it takes a while to activate, but you can just put it into food. And then the person will have a trigger like an hour later during your duel. At which point no one will know that it's there because it's been over an hour. So no one's going to think that it was actually poisoned. They'll think they were just being paranoid. That was the other thing is poison is basically like ah I'm gonna make you think you're paranoid and uh, had you guys not you know distracted him etc he would have just led you guys around until the poison triggered on both of you 
Yeah, I kind of figured that's what was going on. Yeah. Lead you around, then the poison triggers, and then suddenly you take a D3 to everything. Which isn't the worst, because it sucks, because it's effectively a D3 negative levels, but easier to heal off. Uh, Except for we have no healer. <laughs> I mean, yeah, which is why it was also only that. I was debating between having him have that or just having him use Black Lotus Poison. And then I remembered who was in the party and I went, God, it would be hilarious to throw Black Lotus Poison at you guys, but... So, for reference, just out of character... It's also the one poison everyone tries to use as a uh, sex protection thing in, in universes. universe. It's like, that's not how it works. No, that's a different one. You think of Night's Tea. Or Night's Tea, is it? Black Lotus is the poison that takes two successful saves, DC, I think, 22. And if you fail the save, it does a D6 con damage. Oh, yeah. What's my con? Seven. Yeah. It would have it it was too it lethal considering your your group concept. No, it wouldn't have. It would have just fucked you up a lot. <laughs> it would have if it rolled like a six, I would have had a con of one. And you would have had to only be you'd have to make nat twenty to pass the save. At which point you would have then, you know Died. <laughs> well, you made a nat twenty in the second save, so technically you would have passed it, then died because nobody would have treat you in time. Mm -hmm. And thus that's how Akiko would have died. From a hyper virulent poison. Black Lotus is just super effective. There's also the fact that um, there's rules for combining poisons but it's only a rogue talent which I was like that makes some sense but I still think you should just people should just be able to put two poisons on a sword as long as the two poisons aren't directly contradictory to each other it Pathfinder has weird rules like that when it comes to poisons mm -hmm. uh yeah uh yeah and yeah, uh, we may come back to these characters in the future, but for right now, we're going to go back to the main game, and we're going to see how you guys handle it. And besides, obviously, that, after that, yeah. I I like the idea of the dungeon thing in a lot of ways. The problem is, obviously, getting Elite involved, because Elite's going to... If we're not all immediately super, super good... Then Elite's going to have problems. And then it's going to be like, why are a bunch of good monsters? Because that's the other thing that's going to happen. Because it's Elite. Elite doesn't do well with Greys. Despite running a Warhammer Fantasy game. And it's like, Elite, you're literally playing Warhammer Fantasy. It's mm -hmm. all Greys there. The Empire, you can say, are good guys because they have Sigmar. But literally several of the modules are about how Sigmar and cults can just be as bad as Chaos cults. There's literally a, well, the module that I really hate that I've read recently that I've been bitching about is again literally a Sigmar and Crusader cult going around causing trouble. Like one of the key thematics is that everybody has their ability to be shitheads. There are certain people that are outright worse than other people, and there are certain people that are doing good in setting, but are doing it in a mean-spirited way. Like, elves are always going to try and destroy chaos monsters and stuff, but they sometimes are overzealous with mutants, same with Sigmarins. Uh, and orcs are just there to have fun. Mm-hmm. Orcs, 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 orcs. Uh, I honestly would... Honestly, once we finish this arc, which we're getting close to, you know, we just had to do the dinosaur race, the trial of the Haruka century, uh, where Haruka's I, life will be on the line. I unfortunately don't think I see it going down very well, because, like... What are you talking about, Bill? I mean, as I said, like, I more or less say that everything that's basically against me, there's hell. And we can't even probably do the old uh, try to run out of town, because they probably already had precautions for that. Bill. Just because, just because they don't want Haruka to run out of town 
Doesn't mean they want to execute her. No, she basically just a peasant, more or less, basically struck down a samurai. Yeah, though so they, they have other ways of. They're gonna wear guild you, obviously. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? No, seriously, what the fuck does that mean? It, it's a, it's a, it's a Norse thing. It's a, it's a Norse thing. Don't worry about it, Bill. Could someone explain to me what that is? No. No, it's just saying they, there's a chance that they won't kill you. Uh, you don't have the facilities for that big man. <laughs> okay. They're going to extract all the gold they can out of you. I actually have no idea what the fuck she's talking about. Well, if you were strong enough to kill the samurai, that means you're strong enough to make more samurai. It's alright. Uh, no matter what happens, Gur is your ride or die. Um, and he will ride What if you just that. die and then die? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> If Gur look, if he dies, then uh, I'll just make a new character. Maybe I'll resurrect. I'll well, bring Marco into the main car. Turns out your monk's back and fine now. He's just <laughs> he, he got rezzed, <laughs> so he <laughs> did. I'm fine now. What happened to you? I got sick. So I, you, uh, your your no, monk got eaten. His brother Garaguchi. No, 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 no. Clearly, what happened was Kara. Karakuchi got killed and eaten by the crabs. The Yakuza boss that he owed money to found him, had a reincarnate scroll, reincarnated him, and then it's like, Hello, Karakuchi. It is I, the Yakuza boss that you owe money to. Just which, to which Karakuchi me. will say, Which one? Yeah, I bought the debt that you owe from all other Yakuza bosses. <laughs> oh, fuck. You are uh, now my bitch. Spells. You are going to pay it off via dance. I. Yes, you will dance. I know, and but. He, um, <laughs> he will. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to try to see if I could bring. Like, try to gather some people around just to try to figure out what we're going to do with that next session, though. Or. Again, Bill, um, you've already been told that code is going to make you invisible. And we've also been told by you that won't work. I've been, I'm saying I it mean, potentially won't work. I never said it won't or will, one way or the other. We, what we should do is we should avoid looking suspicious as if we're doing anything. We should try and... I mean, we should try and get out of this the legit way. That's what I was thinking, too. At least we try, though it's like the system's going to be against us, but at least we could more or less say we give it the try instead of the uh, running out of town option. Hey, hey. Yeah. There's nothing yeah, wrong with doing it. The... going to be useless for this situation. Why is the leak going to be useless? I mean, we've tried to more or less get him, like, we've tried to basically get him to talk about it, but he's not, like, I haven't been able to get a hold of him and all to basically talk about it. Yeah. Well, he's being. I mean, he, he expressed uh, a general burning out on the erroneous setting um, yeah. earlier while you were I, dealing with the, the fire alarm. No, I heard him say that already. I was there for that part. Yeah. Cool. Part of it is the fact that, again, it's the whole. It's not black and white enough for him or something. And. Well, he just said he doesn't feel much of a connection to the, like. Eastern setting. Yeah, well, that's the other thing. Is he um, just more of a Western fantasy type guy? Yeah, I know. And that's the other thing. Is like, is that he's not super. He, he's like, I don't. He was willing to play, but then he wasn't actually willing to embrace the concept, and that's the problem. Mm -hmm. Is that he's burning himself out because he's not willing to, you know, come in with that open heart towards being a samurai. He's like, a knight's better, because knight, I'm going to have a squire. It's like, or you no, could... It's like, but like, I feel like 
what he, his approach to character creation was all wrong. Like, if you want to play someone outside of Aronia society, literally choose someone who is outside of their society. Like, Moriko lives in the wild, you know? He, mm -hmm. He's not concerned with the politics of Aronia because he lives outside of it. Or, you know, they could have yeah. actually played a legitimate You're partner. basically a mountain bandit. Right, and like Karuka was basically a ninja, you know, and more or less, would, you know, was playing a peasant. Yeah, you're you're part of the ninja, not part of one of the major ninja clans. So you're a lesser ninja, meaning you're you're just basically a cheap mercenary. Yeah, and basically, I guess with Fakino's case, is more or less, it's like I just wanted to be a librarian that studies magic. And everyone that leave me alone. Why does everyone keep calling me in to do all this stuff? Because it's part yeah, of your whole bloodline. Because you're a Shigenja, which means me. you're a, a samurai slash a noble by blood. Which means mm -hmm. that basically what's going to happen to Akiko at some point is some noble functionary who doesn't have a ability to pay for a big dowry is going to be like, Hey, could you marry my son? And we have this library that you can be in charge of. At our castle. Ah, you're speaking my language. But this guy better be at least somewhat um, interesting to talk to. Wickle's eyebrows intensely. Please don't tell me he's an otaku. Why is he an otaku? Why is, this, why is that what you thought? No, it, it's, a, it's, it's actually instead, it's a gun nut. It's a gun taku. But more mm. importantly, it's a gun taku as played by Elite. No, thank you. What's the matter? Did he just fucking leave? No, Kara, Kara dropped for a second. No, he, he was, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, honestly, one of the. Like, I would uh, love to do an only war thing. Like, that could be fun for things we could do. Only war would be a good choice. Uh, Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Only war could be a lot of fun. There's a lot of things we could do. It's just a matter of getting people to do it. Like, I would love to run Call of Cthulhu, but the problem is Elite and Code are both going to be like, meh, 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 meh. And Code constantly refers back to, well, did this other person ran for me? And I'm like, the person you talked about also ran Fate and ran it like D&D. &D. And the first and most important thing is you can't run Fate like D&D &D because just Fate characters are so much more incredibly durable than D&D &D characters. It's not even funny. Mm-hmm. Like, there's, not, there's not a comparable thing and running it like that just shows me that doesn't matter what code says. If like code's like, I enjoyed that, yeah. But that doesn't mean he was running the systems right or well. And going like, well, he was running GURPS like this. It's like, yeah. But you also really like those super in-depth, nuanced, uh, very grindy mechanical systems that will slow down the moment any any sort of flavor thing happens. Like GURPS has no bennies, no anything like that because. Anything like that would break the simulationist designs aspects of GURPS. So it just kind of struck me as hollow is the issue. Like, like I'm like, Code, like, I get what you're saying, but the, you've also quitted the, this person that you haven't named what the GM is to these other things. And I'm like, so either they're a very good GM, but very bad at running Fate, and then Elite just chimes and goes, I, I don't like me either. Elite, we weren't talking about... You're not being helpful, Elite. Well, but I don't like me either. That's also because you constantly get grindy because you don't know how to handle narrative stuff. Elite grinds to a halt the moment that he has to think narratively. Which shows up in the fact that he doesn't know what to do whenever you use a power in Star Wars in a narrative way that it 100% allows. Like... Elite has been blue screened anytime somebody has used Force Choke in Star Wars because Force Choke has a fucking range of line of sight. 
and Elite has no has never thought about how to handle that. He's he just gets shut down because what happens is NPC starts gloating at us, we force choke him. It it's like uh do what Sidious does. He uses specifically a a staticky image explicitly so you can't force choke him. Poor quality images stop the ability to force choke because they break the line of sight rule. That's in the rules. Sorry, uh, I'm not talking to me. Yeah, like, there's. So what's our plan though if Elite drops? I don't know. I mean, probably just have Azumi uh, challenge her brother to the duel and go out. Al alternatively, if Elite decides they don't want to come back and play Azumi, we could make Azumi take the fall for Haruka. That just seems kind of mean, though. H hence why I was I saying mean, she just is. challenges the brother to the duel and then tries to murder him. Uh, but, like, what's he gonna do? Complain? Yes. Yes, he will. He will bitch about his character. Uh, but the, if he doesn't want to play anymore, and we found a way to uh, excuse his character from taking part while also keeping one of the active player's characters in the party... Like he'll still bitch, like you know, I'm one of his employees. We would also bitch if something happened to his character, and that's kind of thing. Of like, well, maybe you guys shouldn't both just kind of whinge. Like that's the thing that's been bugging me. Is like Elite and Smith are both pretty much whinging constantly about little things not going perfectly how they wanted them, and it's like, yeah, hi, improvise and Thanks. adapt. You, you, but you, I keep telling you guys story beats, and then Elite basically goes, but, 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 but it's not exactly what I was expecting. What what were you expecting? What does that mean? Hang on, I'm just going to switch back on, guys. Uh, 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 your brother is not only evil jerk jerk, but he's also interesting. He has the limelight. I don't know why he's complaining. Well, that's just Elite. Elite doesn't know how to not bitch unless the limelight is something where he's uh, doing something super awesome or special. And Smith doesn't know what to do when the limelight's on him, period. Mm. I mean, Elite, without... I don't mean this to be mean to Elite. I understand where they're coming from. But they do strike me as a pretty typical problem player. Yeah. And, you know, like, that's what I was saying. Like, honestly, it could be a lot of fun for us to do, like, Rogue Trader or... Man, we could actually get Dark Heresy... Or we could get Wrath and Glory up and do a Wrath and Glory game after this. To disappear, I will reappear at another time. Adios. Yeah. Jip, no opinions on that? Uh, on what? On which one specifically? The Wrath and Glory, the only war, that stuff? Uh, I've not looked into Wrath and Glory. Um, everything I've heard about it, I'm not a fan of. Why? But I'll, it, uh, just for the simple fact that I... <laughs> I don't know, I think I'm biased towards the old system. The old system's got a lot of problems, though, and is mechanically kind of, let's just be honest, bad. I, I know, but I kind of prefer it that way. I think I'm biased towards crunchy systems, though. I mean, you, Elite, and Code. Like, that's the issue. It's like, Code is biased towards crunchy, and it's like, crunchy does not mean good, and that's the problem, is Code, Elite, both firmly believe that... Like, there, there is a level that needs to be fluff, and there's a level that needs to be crunch. Shadowrun is way too much crunch. Yeah, sure, it allows you to crunch anything, but there's the problem is, is that there's literally a crunch for everything. Um, yeah, and that's kind of my issue. Like, there, there's a lot of crunch in those systems, but it's a lot of crunch that then basically doesn't actually really do anything. You can't. It's a s entire system where a lot of the crunch that's there, you're not actually able to interact with. But it's yeah. there because it's part of the lore at some point and we're going to include it as crunch rules rather than make that just a fluff rule. Navigators should not need to make three different checks to navigate the warp without issues. 
that's an actual thing. Navigators need to make three different checks. No, I, I'm aware. Yeah. Navigation should just be a thing that happens. It's not even just the navigators. It's the choir, the navigator, and the... Oh, what the fuck's the other one? Yeah, but that should the, all the be... The bridge, the choir... No, it's four. The bridge, the choir, the navigator, and then there's like one... Fuck, it's the one of the like long-range telepaths specifically. No, the astropath isn't needed for that. But yeah, it's three checks, and that's just too much. It, that's too much crunch, and, like, that's the thing. Like, Elite Code, both are very crunch, 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 but uh, they also want to have it be super fluffy when it basically benefits them. It's been, like, like either you have it be crunch or you have it be fluffy. And you can have it have systems, like, Wrath and Glory is super great in that regard, because it's got a bunch of great rules like here what what does a glory do well a glory is when you roll a six on the glory die and it basically is a critical i it's a shame that i think that if you're gonna hate the fact that i'm gonna bring this up again but if we're playing anything i would really want to play dresden again I and mean, make a new character i mean i'd love to play dresden again but again we're not going to get a lead in and we're not going to get code in because code is going to whinge about it being fate because, and we're definitely not going to get Shep in because Shep likes to bitch about fate but loves to talk about how good the Dresden game was because Shep's stupid and doesn't realize that's fate. Like I don't mean to be mean, but Shep's Shep repeatedly shows what what does it mean to be stupid? Well, it means saying something's bad. I, I actually well, have Simon. to go now. Uh -huh. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. I have to disappear. Have a good oh. one. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, have a good one, man. Yeah. Sorry, just... That's an actual thing. It's like, Shep likes to talk about the one Dresden game I ran and likes to go on about how good it was, but then also, like, sometimes they bitch about Fate. Because Elite bitches about Fate, and that's basically it. It's because someone else bitches about Fate, therefore he should bitch about Fate, too, is what it comes across to me as. There's there's no actual reasoning, there's no logic, it's just someone else is doing this, so I'm gonna do this. Uh, problem though is I don't think I feel like I'd be comfortable to live with ship though at least nowadays. Uh which re why is that? Just of the way how he plays his well, just the way how he usually tends to play his characters, and I just, he doesn't seem to have a very stable mind at times. That's a... I mean, I'd love for you to uh, expand upon this, given that I've never played with the guy. Hey, guys. Hi, Elite. Welcome back. Um, hey, Elite. Quick, everyone, stop trash-talking Elite. We weren't even trash-talking Elite. We were trash-talking... <laughs> Code. Yeah, well, either way, I, I hope you guys had fun. It was pretty good. Yeah, mm -hmm. um... We have, uh, I think we're all just gonna have to give it some time to figure out, though. I still, still, just still feel the same way next week. Well, we're... Um, well, here's a, here's a big tip. Stop trying to make a Eastern fantasy be a Western fantasy. I kind of, I kind of know, I kind of know that, but secondly, embrace the fun of the story. There's so much fun stuff happening, and I kind of do embrace it. It's just. I don't Sorry, know I just what else to do to because that. I don't know what an Eastern fantasy is aside from aside from well 
Well, one, don't look at it as just opposites, and maybe, you know, here's a big one. When you, like, I'm going to say, say Izumi is going to get a squire. Like, Just call them an apprentice. You don't need to, like, like that is the most uh, Western weep thing you could do in universe. Everyone would be like, "The fuck." I suppose so. I was just more thinking of the idea that being uh, Zoom is trying to show, trying to show. Show them that the West isn't so different. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I see where you come from. It's. I think definitely if you want to go about that way, instead of calling your apprentice a squire, you could just say, as an offhand comment, like, I heard over in the West they call these uh, their apprentices squires or something. You know. You, got, you can't just. Sled, like sledgehammer a um, belief on this one. You gotta kind of like ease them in. It, this may sound you, but you're you want if you want to play the game of thrones, you have to not just smash your way into the room, going, "Look at me, daddy." I I think we've basically seen that example of Ned. That that's the guy's name, right, Ned? I mean, That's no, what cool. Ned was doing was Ned is just too much of a lawful goody-goody. Which was the problem with Ned. Uh, Cersei is more of the slamming her head in because she thinks she's just as good as other politics people. Which is expressing the thing is every other character points out she's just as vicious as her father, but she doesn't have any of the subtlety. Like, the father fucking destroyed their strongest vassals. And rendered their hall into nothing. And then had a ballad composed about it. I mean, that's just... I mean, part of the issue is that I don't think... I don't want Azuma to play the Game of Thrones. I want her to flip the table and say... And say Fuck you. Iko Iki Iki bitch. Militant Buddhists. You want to go fuck the table, militant Buddhists. And see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you want to do militant Buddhists, here, here's the thing. Uh, I, meant, I, I meant, like, the idea of just organized peasant revolt. And here's the thing I was getting at it with that. that. That is a perfectly fine thing to potentially try and do. But here's the follow-up. If you're going to try and do that... You, you need to be able to either A, earn people's support, or B, play to the people. Elite, fishes and loaves, fishes and loaves. What? <laughs> Is the Jewish guy really gonna be courting, uh, like, gonna be referencing Jesus? Well, we put him up there on that fucking cross. I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard loaves. I didn't, I didn't get loaves. Well, we put him up there and we, we damn well own that. Yo, bro, bro, so, we got yours. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 well, you didn't stay down, so it doesn't count. Uh-huh. I mean, I gotta say, that one... And that I one's was going to say... Uh, uh, of the thousand is easily my favorite. Yeah, and that's... And I can't... My yeah, favorite zombie is favorite also favorite Jesus. I heard, heard, heard L-O-W, not L-O-A-F. Lords, yeah, that's good. So yeah. yeah, so yeah, I know, I so, see, yeah, I know what you mean. It's like, yeah, I only the one opportunity I did, I had to do that, I took it. 
Okay, okay. So this may surprise you, but you also sold out a well-liked local and ran away after indicting him in poaching. You're not paying attention to that, were you? No, not really. I was more cons I was more kind of pissed off that they count self defense poaching. Yeah, you're you were being busy as it wasn't. Yeah, but you ran away instead of trying to fight it. You also immediately assumed the horse of the people rather than accepting like, oh they this or that. Yeah, like yeah, they are they being perfect or are they being necessarily reasonable? No, not really. This this is, may surprise you, but it authority figures aren't always reasonable. I know, but second, I um, who said I sold him out? I didn't point a finger and say you go take him out. I he could have had every chance to put, just clear his hands and say I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, but the problem, though, is we needed someone to paint an example of, and we were all out of town. Fucking Christ, of course. I mean, that's one uh, way. There's also the whole, uh, I literally said he's Jib's cousin, and guess who was there with you? Jib and... Oh. Yeah. Okay, look. Attention because it was a bell story thing, alright? Yeah, maybe don't just tune out when it's not focused on you. Well, part of the reason why I tune out is so that way I can be filled in in character. You were in the scene! You were in that scene. As soon as you it was someone else. I was going to piss at you that night because there was important information that Rookie could have, would have liked mm -hmm. known about that. Zomi was, was like, yeah, sure, she was in the scene, but she wasn't really paying attention to the scene. She was just kind of, just because she's, like, in the scene doesn't mean she's paying attention. That is something that I, like, yeah, sure. Anyways, uh, uh, the point being, there's complicated things, uh, yeah. Post around, yeah, we'll we'll figure out what we're doing. I'm personally thinking I want us to do like a rogue trader or a wrath and glory thing. Uh, rogue trader, wrath and glory seems good. Or wrath and glory. Uh, spe uh, speaking of wrath and glory, I'm on the the, the latest of Warhams. Uh, episode fifteen. Yep. Yep. Uh, I gosh, that could actually be really fun. Just be like, yeah. So you guys are part of this crusade. See how long it takes Jim to realize. Well, there's the hug. So. We will now commence with the hug ritual. Uh, I also do love that I idea. What you guys are talking about? It's a text to speech device thing, you know, uh, Emperor's text to speech device. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of the things is in the 40k universe, it's been extrapolated and stated that characters uh, don't really know what a hug is. Like, because of how trying to be grim dark the setting tries to be at times, that's an actual lore thing that came up. And so, text speech device basically ran that as a joke for their uh, RPG campaign is the fact that. Uh, Vulcan has instituted a hug policy amongst the Crusaders. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, I, I love how the, the high brain of me, um, has, has associated with the bear hug, so that's, assumes it's a wrestling competition. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's the most tech priest thing I could think of. How does the tech priest translate hug? Uh, I also like it just because Wrath and Glory is nice. It's got some 
a decent amount of mechanical grit while still being very fluffy in a way that I think is very important. Because yeah. it's got, you know, issue, wrath points. Issue, if, we play, if we play Wrath and Glory, I'm going to want to pull out some Helmbrook because it's not, it does have any supplements. Well, that's just because they're too busy working on Soulbound. That's that, still. That's not even a joke. Like, and, and let's be fair here. Soulbound has less rules and is worse because it's Soulbound. Well, the point. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter because the, the end result is still. There's not much material. Yeah. Uh, and if we're doing and if we're doing it with a with a road trader as part of the party or what have you, I am going to use that excuse to be an Eldar. Well, that's if we I don't just use uh, everyone's favorite and just use Rogue Trader, the actual system. Which would be fun, because there's actual Eldar rules in that. Yeah, but uh, I'm going to still pull out the homebrew, because I want to be a parson. Oh, rather than just a Dark Eldar? Correct. Actually, that would be funny. I could just run all the modules for Rogue Trader. Because the modules range from really good to really terrible for Rogue Trader. And then I can have whichever one of you is the rogue trader build the ship entirely yourself. So the rest of you just deal with whoever is the rogue trader built the ship. Can I play space beat? You mean be a tau? There's rules for being a tau, Bill. Oh god, just make it a tau ship. <laughs> so the cruise is slower, but you know, the ship uh, actually has actual better profiling. Flying Cathedral on a um, base. 40k is all about aesthetics, let's be very fair here. Like, that that's basically what Grimdark is. It's aesthetics over functionality, and then people try and claim that the aesthetics are part of the functionality. I mean, do we not even go for the uh, impracticalities of the macro can? Or should I say it's reloading mechanism? You mean having two space marines wrestle each other while covered in oil? No, no, I'm talking about the fact that they basically have a bunch of, like, uh, you know, like almost like a community that basically has to more or less pull this cannon back, and it's like, going, I don't know if it would be cheaper at that point. Especially to replace and repair. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I forgot the recording. Great, if Jib's delayed tomorrow, I guess we'll probably not have a session because I'll probably. Unless Smith shows up. Yeah, unless um, Shep actually uh, comes I to might not, character. I might not be able to make it to next session. There's a chance. Because uh, uh, i got to go to Sydney to help my nonna move out. Oh no, Nana needs uh, to move well, out? No, no. Because um, he's going to move down to Adelaide because uh, he's old as shit. Nana! No, no. Come up, man. Now you've alienated you know, all the Italian whistlers. If that's, if that's the uh, that's the case of what's going to problem. That's possibly what's after Aronia. I may. That means I'm probably going to want to hold off on the campaign I, idea I had to do with the code suggestion. You mean the Pathfinder thing? Yeah. yeah. I mean, honestly, you and Code doing that, that could be fun. I don't know who else you're going to get player wise, but I hope it goes well. The big thing is, I just don't get it, like, like that module is like, <sighs> I just don't want to do, I don't like running Pathfinder modules. Uh, oftentimes they're very, they're way too long. And they're very, and the encounters range from excruciatingly difficult to incredibly easy. And I can say that because there's literally an encounter with a dragonfly thing that drops you 
uh, it basically does a grab maneuver, moves, and then drops to the next turn. Because it can do that, because it's already succeeded on the grab. So the DC to drop you is actually lower than it, uh, than it really needs to be. So it just drops you potentially up to 100 feet, which will kill your character because you're only like level 4 or 6 at that point. And 10d6 damage is going to fuck you up. Uh, probably head, um, head back to bed, or rather, try to get some sleep. Um, oh, boy, is it? Think about it this way: I'm not always going to give you the opportunity. Sometimes you need to make the opportunity to do the breads and loaves situation. I mean, uh, it's uh, true, but that—that's a reminder thing. 